Hi, I'm Janae with OnlineLabels.com, and today I'm going to tell you how to add visual hierarchy to your label designs. If you've ever taken a design class, you've heard the term visual hierarchy. Almost every good piece of visual art has one. In this video, I'll go over what visual hierarchy is, how to implement it in your label designs, and why it's important to have in your product labels. Visual hierarchy is the principle of strategically arranging design elements in a way that guides the viewer's attention through the art in a natural flow. The goal is to have the viewer's eyes drawn to key pieces of information in the design. Understanding people's natural eye patterns can help you decide where to place key elements in your design. The two main eye patterns to consider are the Z pattern, where the viewer's eyes start at the top left and move horizontally to the right, then down across the bottom left corner and over again to the right. People tend to follow this eye pattern when the design is simple with not a lot of text. And the F pattern, where the viewer's eyes start at the top left, move horizontally toward the right, then scan down the page on the left, looking for subheads to scan. This eye pattern is followed when the design contains a lot of text. Your designs don't always need to follow one of these patterns. Just think about where your viewer's eyes will start, where they'll go second, and where they'll end up. Now I'll go over different design aspects that you can use to create visual hierarchy. Making one or more elements larger than the rest will imply importance. You want to scale the elements up with caution though. Making an element too large can overwhelm the design, or not making important information large enough compared to other elements can cause it to get lost. Try ordering your design elements from most important to least important, sizing accordingly. Another way to guide the viewer's attention is by using color to create a contrast. Similar to size, you want to use caution when playing with color in your design. Too much color can be overwhelming and have a negative impact, so just remember to use it with a purpose in mind. So what are some ways you can use color to create visual hierarchy? Think about it. Saturation. This is the intensity of color in an image. Using bright, saturated colors for important elements against more muted colors can really help to draw the attention to the more significant pieces of information. Value. This is the lightness or darkness of a color. Colors of different values can be used together to create a contrast, while colors with the same or similar values will have an equal weight in your design. If the background or majority of the elements in your design are dark, the viewer's eyes will be drawn to the element that is lighter in value and vice versa. Temperature. This is the warmth or coolness of a color. Combining colors with different temperatures creates visual interest and helps to guide your viewer's eyes through the art. Warm colors include most reds, oranges, and yellows. And cool colors include most blues and greens. Colors like black, white, gray, and sometimes brown and beige are typically classified as neutral colors. If your design contains text, creating a visual hierarchy is essential. Text is how you communicate information and prompt the viewer to take action. So you want to be strategic here. Try the basic three-level approach. Level one being your headings. This is the most important information and should be the most noticeable. Level two is subheadings. This text shouldn't be as noticeable as level one text, but is used to further guide your viewer through the information and group different parts of the content together. Level three is body copy. These are the details of your message. While this is the lowest level of importance, in this text structure approach, you don't want to make the text size too small, so make sure it's easily readable. Typography is an art that takes practice to know which fonts look good together and which will clash, and how to pick a font that supports your message. Try testing different fonts to see what works best in your design. Some helpful things to keep in mind when choosing your fonts are that 
Fonts contribute to the overall feel of your design. Some fonts are playful and loud, some are quiet and sophisticated, and others are adaptable and complement most decorative fonts well. Think about what font is the most appropriate with the message you want to convey. Mixing different fonts is a good way to create visual hierarchy. If most of your text is using a more plain font and the headline is in a decorative font, the headline is likely to grab the attention of the viewer first. And remember that too many bold and decorative fonts together may be overwhelming. White space or blank space is vital in any good design. It's tempting to jam as much information as possible into your layout to make sure you cover all your bases. But this can cause your design to look like a big jumbled mess that makes your viewer want to turn away. You need white space to organize or group elements together to make a path that the viewer can navigate and to isolate key elements or focal points. Your product labels play a huge part in communicating your brand message to customers, and visual hierarchy helps you to do that effectively. We hope you found this guide to creating a visual hierarchy helpful, and we encourage you to use this design principle in your product labeling. For labeling and small business information, subscribe to our channel and visit onlinelabels.com.